it's me Red and today I'm going to take you through this video and show you how to make the perfect photos. So first of all as you can see we have this beautiful scenery. It is amazing. So but where would you find a place like this? It really just depends. I mean if you live in the United Kingdom like I do, you can find places like this all over. All you need to find is a really, really, really nice grassy field like this here. I mean the best places to take these photos would be here, here, and about there. If you live somewhere in America, you might want to go to like a nature reserve or some kind of park, something like that, because you wouldn't be able to find it in such like a landscape kind of place. This is the main place, this is where you need to think, this is where I want to take my pictures. Next of all is weather. It's a very unpredictable thing, as most of us know. I mean, it can snow, lightning, sunny, it can be cloudy, and even rain. Now, it depends what kind of effect you want to go for with your video. In the past, I have done videos where it's based in the snow, as in Snow Day with Nicky and Elizabeth. I would not recommend doing a video such as that in the actual snow because while it's actually snowing because it can ruin your doll so that is just like a disclaimer to make um i'll do it after so snow has settled as for lightning i don't think you're gonna want to take photos of the lightning the sun is probably one of the best i mean i had summer and winter which was a very popular photo shoot and it was in the middle of winter yet the pictures looked like they were talking summer and they were really beautiful so it depends what kind of look you want to go for as for the rain it's kind of like a sad kind of feeling or just like make it for a stop motion sun more based around the happier areas I mean always check the weather forecast the day before you're set to go on your photo shoot and it makes life a whole lot easier that way you can always be predictable but do not take any chances always bring an umbrella or always make sure that you don't go too far away from a car if it starts to lightning or snow or something make sure you're not too far away from some kind of transport and make sure that if it is snowing put your dolls in some kind of protective wear in my videos i put my dolls in tights a dress a cardigan and a coat so this is just so the doll's limbs don't get wet and so the eyes don't get ruined so that is it for the weather next is essentials so my essentials so what's this here it's a tripod this is a mini version you can get a bigger one but this is the perfect picture tripod it will make your pictures really 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 steady like this one so as you can see in this picture it's really steady and it looks really good okay so it's it you can buy them really cheaply it depends if you want to get a really sturdy one if you know photography is something you want to keep up with you can get them for a really good price but a really good quality one or if it's something you want to try you can get them for a lower price but they are really great to have okay so next thing this may be kind of obvious but in some ways it's not a camera don't take pictures on your phone because i tried to do that one time and it made my video really glitchy but i still uploaded it and i managed to change it somehow but it didn't work out very well and um it makes your videos really glitchy so don't use a camera um, don't use a phone sorry always use a camera um I don't use an, you can use an iPad I guess it depends if it's really good quality but I would recommend using a camera so one of the other things is a memory card try to get a really big full memory card I use 16 gig and I use 36 gig which hold a lot of room so try to get the most room you can so that means you can put more pictures and more videos on there 
Okay, and the last thing is a diary. This may not seem basic to you, but I do a video planning essentials and literally my book is my life. You write down your ideas. So like back when I showed you a basic setting, you can write, okay, I want to have my doll here, I want to have a doll there, there. The outfit's going to be like, and so you have like a little checklist. It's really easy. Okay, so this is more or less for you. Um, to be honest, the perfect outfit for you to wear would be trousers. I mean, this is necessarily more or less if you're a girl. Well, of course, boys take photos as well. But what I'm trying to say is that don't go out in like your best skirt or your best dress, etc. Just wear a nice pair of trousers or jeans. Something that you won't be afraid to get messy at one point or another. So this is a comfortable thing to wear, so don't think they have to wear something all nice just to take a few photos. Okay, so this one really is a life pack. I mean literally, this is a lifesaver. Try and wear something like plimsolls or trainers. So this is really, really good because if you, let's say for instance you're going to put your dog on a tree. Or I know that sounds really weird, but it does happen if you want to get into a high place. Now, you wouldn't want to be wearing your fancy pointed end shoes or stilettos or something if you're in the middle of the woods or you're in the middle of a park or something. So trainers are actually really easy because it's easy for you to stand on your tiptoes, it's easy for you to get to those high places and again it's nothing that fancy. So this is just so you can get to high places easier. It is truly a life hack. Okay now that is a lot of clothes. Do not let this be you. So, to take the perfect photo, it's a matter of the contrast, it's a matter of the lighting. Okay, I mean literally, don't just pull an outfit out of your doll drawer and say, okay, that'll do. Don't do it. The night, and I repeat, it's like packing your school bag. The night before, go into your doll closet or doll drawer, where you keep all your doll clothes, or into your doll house or doll room or whatever, and take out the outfit that you need. Okay, the next part of this video will be how to edit it and make the contrast and lighting better, but I'm just going to explain the clothes. So, if you have art at school, which I bet 99.9.9% .9 of you will, you will know hot and cold colours. So, we know that orange and yellow and red are all um, hot colours. As for like greens and purples and blues, they're more or less cold colours. So, if you're doing the snow, what will you put? If you're doing a snow photo shoot, what will you want to put your dolls in? Blues, greens, purples, so on. If you're taking summer photos, orange, reds, pinks. If you want to go in the rain, try something darker, black, greys, possibly blues, depending on what, depending on what kind of shade you want to use. So we'll always pick the outfit out night before. And like I said back in the weather selection, if you uh, want to choose, if you want to choose like um, what kind of weather you're going in, so snow, put a coat on or a cardigan on your doll, okay? This is just so the limbs don't get ruined. And try to avoid at all times your doll eyes getting wet. And do not take your dolls out in extreme heat. They can over, well not overheat, but their bodies get really warm and the vinyl goes soft. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this section. So to finish off, we have the editing skills that we should all know about. So we have this beautiful picture here, maybe of the mom with her child. It's really, really cute, but let's not get into that. So you can change the brightness of your photos, which will make some spots white. So like really, really white. So you don't want to turn the brightness up too high. But there's also a setting on your camera. If you, if there should be a display button, and it will change like the display. And uh, this just really helps with the brightness of your picture, or the colouring, or the editing, 
or anything like that if you want me to do a tutorial on this please comment down below because it's hard for me to explain but you can change the way it looks by the brightness the warmth the contrast so if you don't know what the contrast means the contrast between dark and light so we can all have that in our photos they will look absolutely fantastic once they are done so if you have took some re really great photos that you're proud of please comment please put a link down below to your photos and i will definitely check them out because i bet they truly are amazing so let's wrap up this video thank you for watching today's video bye for now bye